Let's move on to another team that's in some some real tough shit, and that's the the Clippers. So the Clippers, after blowing their three one lead, they now are in a really weird situation. Well, it's just a terrible situation flat out. And Kawhi and PG, man, they have player options next year. And uh, I talked about this in a recent article of mine, and I said essentially like they didn't really get that much better. Like I know they got Ibaka, but you know, it's just like, who cares? Because the Clippers are not the Clippers. The Lakers are out there getting better or at least maintaining um, at the very least you could say maintaining. So uh, I want to start off with you, Darius first. Like, do you think the Clippers like it's essentially wraps or like, I don't want to say it's wraps, but like I, if I had to put money on it, I don't think they're winning at all. So that really the only impactful thing that can change for them is their coaching. Can and I guess all of us agree that Docker is not really a good coach like that. I think mm-hmm. all of us can agree with that. Here here's yeah, the thing. Here's the thing. And I've been saying this for years now. I believe Tyron Liu is an underrated coach. I think he was slandered by all these LeBron fans. I don't I don't think he's bad as people make him out to be. I think he's somewhat decent or good. I think he, if he can if he can uh help this Clippers team make it at least past the second round, which is just really sad to say, but we have, that's the bar <laughs> that's the bar for the Clippers now. I mean I think it would be a, I think it would be a, a bit of a W, you know. With Ibaka, that's going to help with them defensively, but there's a possibility that like just like with the Lakers, like a lot of these players can get worse, especially with Ibaka since he has uh, how old is he? Ibaka's got to be in his thirties already. It's like thirty-one, thirty-two. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, he's thirty-one. Yeah, okay, he just turned thirty-one. So they, they honestly, they might have peaked last year. That it's that's a possibility, and I don't. I think also like. They didn't play much together last year, and that uh, that just affects that the is, team. That's a good point. And yeah. then and then quarantine happened or whatever. I also think they voted like, not, if, if, if they team, voted not to come to the bubble, people forget that. True. Like I think if any team got affected by that, it'd be the Clippers because they didn't play much together. But then again, it also gives you like actually I was gonna never mind. I was gonna say it gives you that time to like build chemistry. But then again, everyone was quarantining. So and I not only that though, I think health. I don't really think that's an excuse because health was a concern for the Clippers throughout the entire season, especially for Paul George. Paul George was literally going on fucking Instagram and saying, oh, my hammy is healed up now, man. My, my hammy's healed. We stacked. We just waiting for the, the the league to come back. He was literally going on there saying all that hot shit. Yeah, so hot, I don't really, I don't know if that's really an excuse. But then shit happened with, shit happened with Montrez and Lemon Pepper Lou. Like there was just so much stuff going on in the Clippers locker room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot there. Like the, the Lemon Pepper shit. <laughs> That definitely, that definitely you fucked them up there. Trez, yeah. Um, Trez, yeah. no, Trez, Trez, think about Trez, right? And a bit. I was, I, I'll say this. I was a bit too harsh <laughs> on him. I was a bit too harsh on him. Um, he's gonna be good this year, and but like last year, bro, I, I don't think people give him enough of an excuse for the fact like he, this dude did not play. A single minute of bubble basketball, like at all. So he was not in basketball shape. He was not in game shape, and he just hops into the playoffs. And not only that, bro, mentally, like you know, his grandmother just passed away. Yeah, you know, it's just like, uh, what, what what is he supposed to like? It's gonna be it's gonna be hard for him to. All right, to but that's on coaching, bro. If you know that's going on, why are you still playing him big minutes against Jokic? So so, so what other backup centers do they have? Dude, well, I'm not gonna lie. They could have on the floor, bro. I'm not gonna. Lie. They could have given Joe Kim a couple minutes, bro. Joe Kim is old, bro. Oh, no, bro. I mean, he would have been better defensively than exactly. Montrez. He he wouldn't, have, bro. He would have been fouling consistently because he's old. Okay, but they didn't even try. That's my point, bro. Like they didn't even try to test out something different, bro. And, and, really, at that at that point, they were just hoping their offense would win them games. Exactly, and, and, and it bro. didn't. You want to talk about something, they bro? Spam the talk about the Montrez bro. pick and rolls, bro. And wait, wait, wait. You're also forgetting that in game seven, uh, Harold was the only one who showed up. He was literally the only DeMonte one who showed Gray up too. in game seven. Okay. Like I said, Harold was the only one who showed up, bro. 
Paul George was terrible. Kawhi was terrible. Lou Will was terrible. Trez was the only one. And I think in LA, bro, I think he's gonna ha- he's he's gonna shine because like he can take he can take some bigs off the dribble. Mm-hmm. Uh, not only that, but he's a great role man. He's a good lob threat. And next to LeBron and Dennis Schroeder, honestly, because really it's, he, he's probably gonna get a hell of minutes with Dennis Schroeder off the bench. Like they're probably gonna be the real best uh, bench duo in the league next year. Just like uh, I, don't even think, I don't even think it's close, bro. What? Like who the best bench duo was gonna be? Oh, it's literally, it's literally them. Yeah, it's for sure, Gilly, bro. Come on, man. Okay, whatever. But as, in regards to the Clippers, like, yeah, yeah, bro. Like they missed their opportunity this past year. Honestly, they have a chance. Yeah. I know. Nah, it's still I, not I, last nah, I, nah, I, I still don't. I still don't think that though. I still don't think it's over for them, bro. Like people are acting like it's the end of the world and it's not gonna. People forget about I the Luke. Still don't, people I still don't completely think, ignore the Luke Kennard signing, yo. I swear, bro. And I literally think that, like, you're talking about, like, you well, got Luke Kennard. He shot forty. Be, he's literally better than than Landry Shaman. So I know, he right? Stay, like, he can't stay healthy, which is true. That's the issue. Yeah, you can't. I don't healthy. think Luke Kennard is gonna be good enough to get them to where they need to be. You know? So. Yeah. Yeah, but you had Kawhi. Like, okay, that Kawhi. Choke job is not something that I can see yeah, happening again. I mean, it's happening. That's it's a thing, bro. Yeah, Kawhi. Honestly, bro. Okay, let me ask y'all this because there's the. uh Let me ask y'all this: Do y'all consider Kawhi Leonard a great leader? No, because he's not. He's not vocal like that. That he's that's a, why. That's why the media believes that they needed a new coach. Like they they believe Ty Lue's like a player coach that can be vocal, so that's why they got him. He, he seems uh, like a dude. I don't know. I think he's a great leader, bro. He's he's a he's a he's a do it by example type dude. Exactly. He, he's not a he's not a he, yeah, he, he won't talk. That. But but you do need vocal leaders in the locker room, no matter what. Like do it by example, mm-hmm. it's gonna work sometimes. But like you you need a vocal leader. You need somebody. To, some people are not gonna be able to read and just read the situation, whatever. And okay, then what like, is Pat Bev? Pat Bev is a talker. Yeah, he just talks trash. Right. Nah, I think. But, I don't think I think really, Bev, really Bev, 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 Bev's just the energy, the energy guy, the team that like exactly. rallies the team Bev up. can be a Bev can be a leader to a team. He, he can, can be, he, he can be a sure vocal be a leader, leader. But yeah. it's like he's also like, and he he's such a good player. Don't get me wrong, like maybe he, because he's, he's a not player. a star. I'll say I, that. I don't think I don't, even I, think, I don't think not they because Draymond's not a star. I don't think Pat Pat Bev is like respected like that. You know, Dray with Draymond like Draymond's very respectable. Like no, he, Pat Bev Draymond, is but okay, I think, how, I think how Pat Bev is respected. respected in yeah, room. I think he's. Can, respected yeah, I was gonna room. say, how can Draymond be respected and not Pat Bev? Yo, like well, first of all, Pat, there's a difference. Draymond, Draymond was was All Star caliber once. Yeah, Pat Bev is never. No, I'm not Draymond saying I'm not, caliber because he's but I'm not Steph saying Curry. I'm not saying that. But like when you're considering the fact that Draymond, like, to be honest, bro, like around the NBA, other than Warriors, other than the people on the even some people on the Warriors probably think this. Around the NBA, people just think he's an all-star by, by association, bro. Like, let's just be real. Like, True. niggas do not respect his all-star appearances. Niggas don't respect his championships. Niggas think he's blessed to be on the Warriors team. Like, so, so like, look at me. He'd be out the league without the Warriors, bro. Out the league, yo. Crazy, man. <laughs> I don't know if I mean, I'm you could, go that you could probably say that about a lot of players in the league, bro. <laughs> then again, no, mainly, then again yo, I mainly. will say, if he wasn't drafted by the Warriors... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He'd he be may out not the have, league. He may not. He may not have gotten a second contract. Let's just call it. But he would have been the D it, League, bro. Crazy <laughs> small forward who can't shoot. Uh, That's a fact. He was literally a small forward, bro. He was six, literally six. A... <laughs> So yeah. yeah, but looking at this Clippers team, I generally don't think it's bad. And and it's like they're bad. looking, they're looking to trade Lou Will. I'm like, I think that's a W, bro. But how much? But what are you gonna get? I was really just about to say. Well, I don't know about Ange Ariza, but like, hit up, hit up OKC, bro. Like, yo, I'll give you Lou Will for fucking George Hill right now, bro. Yeah, bro. That'd be that's a nice, that's a nice flip. You know what I mean? Yeah. And also, like, you know, I mean, I was thinking about something, but I don't think, uh, I don't think this is possible because it'd be hard to. to but sending both Lou Will, sending both George Hill and Trevor Ariza. Somehow sending them to the Clippers and them starting a lineup of like, what's it called? They have Pat Bev, um, Pat Bev, who else? Trevor Rees at the two, like PG three, Kawhi four, and then like, oh shit, I don't think they can do that. That's not a good idea. But like, that's an extra wing, you know what I mean? It's it's, it's it, they got some stuff. Making, they uh, he's he's making way too much money for them. 
Like a reason. Yeah, they'd have to some. They have to add something. Don't, to yeah, but I mean, I'll, you could, I'll you could put Ibaka Ibaka. playing and, and getting bought out. You could put Ibaka at the four, honestly. Like the, I don't think there's anything wrong with putting him at well, the four. Well, I think I think he we all know foot speed that he's. I think Serge is coming off the bench for sure. What? Well, maybe maybe not. For Wait, sure. what? I don't think he's gonna come off the bench. Starting what? There's no doubt. Yeah, he's got to start. He's got to start, bro. He's got to. Are they gonna, they gonna run the small five, bro? No, Why Zoo. They, they can put that? Zoo at the five. Yeah. Zoo, Zubach can play the. F- uh, honestly, Zubach. Marcus defense Morris, is I don't think Marcus Morris is coming off the bench after the bag they just gave him. I mean, Marcus Morris is bench. starting. That's what I'm saying. Well, like, okay, you so want a PG at the one, bro. So they're gonna. Someone, they're someone gonna has to come off the bench. So Zubach is gonna come off the bench then at that point, right? I think they still start. Look, I think they just. I think they're gonna give Serge Ibaka the Montrez treatment, bro. You're gonna play more minutes than Zubas, but you're just not starting. <laughs> that I don't think that's a good I don't idea. Think they're gonna though. do that. Why would they just sign him? Why would Ibaka sign to that? I mean, because that's what he, he agrees to go to, bro. What do you mean? They, all, they honestly, honestly tell him that. I think what they should do, like if they make that George Hill trade, like you said, Hill at the one, PG at the two, uh, Kawhi at the three. Uh, Surge at the four, and then just Zubac at the five. Bro, Surge is too slow nowadays to be the four. Bro, but like, what else do you want them to do? Start Mook at the four and Surge at the Star five. Moore, what? Literally, yeah, you can do that. I know. I think PG Star, Kawhi and Morris. PG Kawhi and Morris should automatically start, bro. Who you want to yeah, put that? Okay, okay, so so Zubac come off the bench then, right, Jay Smooth? Yes, put Zubac. I on thought the you bench. just what? said you don't want him on the on the bench. That's what I. That's Wait, what I'm who, saying. I don't want who on the bench. You said that you don't want Zubac on the bench. That's what you said. Did I say that? Yeah. See, don't think it matters, honestly. But I mean, yo, put Zubac on the bench. I'm sorry if I said that. <laughs> okay, then that's fine. I'm good with that. I have no issue with that. It's honestly, bro. I just a part of me just wants Zubac to start because I think him and Shamit. I think he plays well in this role. Well, yeah, but I think him and Shamit, bro. They've been such. They, they've taken a lot of. Uh, hits to their career, bro. Like, cause I think they could have been like, legitimate starters in the NBA, especially Shamit, bro. Like they just haven't been given fair opportunities to really develop, bro. Like, Shamit and they're still hurt though. So yeah. That, yeah. Shamit. Yeah. That, that matters too. But in the case of Zubach, like Zubach has actually gotten better. Like as a defender, he's gotten way better, bro. He got way better and he improved. Cause like he was terrible when he was the Lakers, you know? No. And, Yes, he was. They called him Zoo Block. On defense? On, they called okay. him Zoo Block. He was not terrible no, on defense. He was terrible on defense, bro. He fouled, but he wasn't a completely alive. That's my point. That's my point. He was he was fouling so much to the point he was just unplayable on defense. That's what he's doing this year. But but the thing is his rim protection has gotten way better. It's what made up for that. So like, he, I mean he can't stay on the floor and also his stamina sucks. Yeah, bro, right, that, that's, that's that, what, yeah, that's why he doesn't play that much. That's why Montrez is playing more than yeah, him. That's, why that's what Montrez. I'm saying. Yeah. That's, okay, okay, but okay, fair, fair point. But his still his defense has improved <laughs> tremendously, though. It's so improved. Like, yeah, and his pick and roll defense got better too, because that was also a problem when he was in LA. His pick and roll defense was terrible. Yeah. So like he's he's definitely improved. He can't really defend like five outs. That that really hurt him against Jokic, but you know. What are you gonna do, bro? Nobody can guard Jokic. That's just that's how it what is. I mean. I feel bro. like I feel like having Surge is their version of like a small ball lineup. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way. That's a, yo, Surge is seven foot tall. It's not a small ball lineup. Bro. <laughs> that's, that's not a really, ball, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not too much of a small ball. And he's like six ten, six nine, bro. Bro, he's he's seven foot. He's legit seven. He lied about his height when he's in OKC, bro. They is he a legit him. seven footer? Yes, he is. He's legit seven footer, bro. Wow. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that honestly, but yeah, the Clippers, bro, they're fried. <laughs> they're fried, as far as I'm concerned. They're like, I don't shit, think like, so, bro. I, I think they get a I playmaker. Think, I think this year they still have a chance. If they get a playmaker, that would be nice, and I definitely think they can uh, cause some noise. They could even upset the Lakers because I still think they match up well against the Lakers. Yep. Um, but you know they got to get that playmaker first. I think the team was meant for the Lakers. I literally, yeah. I literally. <laughs> there, there are only options. Like looking around the league, is getting George Hill or bringing back Reggie Jackson. <laughs> That's Smith. Oh, Who, please? Is Smith? Okay, shut the fuck up. You, 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 I don't think they necessarily need offense, bro. 
You're not serious, Jay Smooth. Ishmael's not good, y'all. Last year. This dude said Ishmael. Ish Shut up. Shut up, bro. Just Yo, stop. He was, he was good last year. He's a point guard that could push it. Bro, okay, league. okay, bro. In other news, let's 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 move on, bro.